Hey, I'm getting ready to head out again uh, this morning for my morning routine. Uh, put a little more work in on the dirt bike. And it has occurred to me that uh, in reading your comments about us going live on Tuesday at uh, noon, Arizona time, April 28th, you're giving me good information. You're giving me good questions. But in order for me to really get to the heart of, of uh having a meaningful conversation about this i need to know why you are interested in this lifestyle in the first place i can tell you in my case i grew up camping and i always had a, a feeling of excitement now my camping was either in a pop-up uh pull behind a winnebago an old chieftain winnebago I, i'm not much of a set up a tent go for a hike sleep in a sleeping bag guy but just the thought of going someplace new. I don't really consider myself a camper. I don't spend a lot of time out uh, by campfires. I just wanted the freedom of the excitement that goes with travel and having my free time to explore things that I wanna do with my free time. For instance, I'm, I'm really big on my motorcycles. My dirt bike is uh, something like what a, a musician's guitar would be. I can't imagine ever not having a dirt bike. The street bike is amazing in all the ways that it's amazing. But uh, for me to be able to take time to put a camel back on, I'll put a audio book or some music or a podcast in, grab some snacks, fill up the tank on my dirt bike, and I'll go ride that thing. I like to go by myself most of the time for maybe three and a half hours, just exploring different mountaintops and, and trying out different places. You know, that there's uh, that's one of the things that I get one of the most satisfaction uh, type feelings out of, of anything that I can imagine. And having the time to do that, uh, I've had both a mortgage and a house that I really liked and I've had apartments that maybe I liked the area, but once I got in and signed the lease, the neighbors weren't working for me for one reason or another. I don't like the, the uh, feeling of being beholden to somebody that I've gotta go out and do a job that I may not even wanna do to make money to give to somebody else for a place that I may not even really want to leave, live. It's just a place to sleep and keep my stuff. And, and I'm caught up in the cycle where I'm doing a job I don't really want to do. Most of the time I've been self-employed. Uh, so there's degrees of not wanting to do it. Uh, to pay somebody for some place that I, I really think is kind of ridiculous anyway. In, in my case, I was paying $1,850 a month just for my mortgage. On top of that, I'd get a, a power bills for $400 a month. I had uh, back then a credit card processing machine that was costing me $45 a month just to be able to process credit cards. I used to sell satellite dishes uh, and install them. <clears throat> it was the free time that I would get out of this it was the, uh, the major motivation for me entering into this lifestyle and I just always want that freedom whether I buy a piece of raw land and develop it later in life or not that may be in my future uh, I always want, did this because I wanted the freedom to not be beholden to anybody for any financial reasons or as few as possible that's my reason what's your reason if I know your reasons I can help tailor my answers better so again Tuesday noon it's going to be me and ron i like your questions uh i'm going to work on some well thought out answers and try not to sh shoot from the hip too much but it's going to be bro science for sure anecdotal for sure plus we're going to be live together and that's such a a, a cool thing to me I'll take before I set the camera up permanently for me and Ron I'll take my phone and I'll pan this whole area and show you where we are and we'll be live I just think that that's super cool and what's taking me so long Tuesday noon April 28th Arizona time right now go in the comments and let me know what your motivation for wanting to live this lifestyle is so I have a better idea. You know, I can give you different answers to the same questions if I know exactly why you're trying to accomplish it. Because everybody's uh, color or flavor or style of living the traveling lifestyle, the nomadic lifestyle, the van life, whatever you want to call it, is a little bit different. And so we do a little bit different things that are more tailored for that. Let me know what, what your reasons are and uh, see you on Tuesday. See ya.